Hey guys, Red Lama here. So today's video, we're going to be looking at this uh, C Cube money rig that me and my son had built. He's four years old, so we kind of went kind of slow on this, but I'll go through the highlights on this video of what me and him had done on the C Cube money rig. In order to build this, we use a B450 Gaming Plus Max motherboard, 8 gigs of RAM, a Ryzen 9 3900X. I did purchase another pan. I'm still debating whether or not to return it or to swap it out. Uh, but please leave any comments or questions down below on the pan and also take a look at Chump Changes video about the one stick of RAM versus two sticks of RAM for mining, CPU mining specifically. So, so I forgot to record the sound on this portion of the video, but basically what my son is doing is removing the tab on the CPU socket, and then he's actually putting in the CPU himself. I'm actually just guiding his hand in. I also have a anti-static strap onto his wrist just in case he's rubbing his feet around somewhere. Um, so he is putting in the CPU on his own, dropped it in place in the correct orientation, right spot, and then you actually put it in uh, the top over to lock down the CPU. And then afterwards, it gave him the, the heat sink and he was able to align it in the correct position. And afterwards, I had to help him with the tabs and lock this down. And then from here, I took over because he was, uh, he wanted to do other things. He wanted to go fly. Um, so in this portion, I started putting in the RAM. So here's a close up shot of that, me putting in the RAM into this motherboard. Next, what I was looking to do is the power supply. So what I've done is I already had all the connections into the power supply we made before this, and then I just connected it to the motherboard with my footprint. Afterwards, I connected CPU power as well, which is an 8 pin. Afterwards, on the CPU fan, I removed cell phone inserts and I put in the connector, the 4 pin connector here. And I connected it up to the motherboard. Uh, the orientation of this connector is very important, so there is a white spot or darkened white spot on this and also there is like an arrow so those have to be aligned and then you connect, connect this into that rgb connector all right so i 3d printed these little standoffs for this motherboard and basically what i've been doing is just on a few of them i've just been tying them down so the standoffs would be connected to the motherboard so it wouldn't be just like floating item i drop one uh, it wouldn't just be a floating um standoff so just more secured, even though it's just going to be floating on the shelf. One thing to note with the B450 motherboard and the Ryzen 3900X, there is no integrated graphics with, with these combinations. Um, so you can look through BIOS and everything, but there is nothing you could do to make it so you can use the, the, the DVI connector on the motherboard this slow. So you have to go through IFOFs to see anything on this from the board and CPU combination unless you buy a different CPU that has built-in graphics into it. Or unless you just want to connect a GPU on it just to see if it, it reminds. Once you have everything set up, connect the standoffs, you put everything in place, you, you choose a location where you can put this, um, you have to connect the internet and then also power on the rig, which I didn't show before, but this is a quick step, step you could use to just power this on with a screwdriver and just connect these two things together. It's located on the motherboard. All right, so we do see in Hive OS, it's called Llama CPU Drama, and it is registering it. There is no CPU or GPU on this right now, so I can't see the screen, uh, but I think I will make a part two of this video uh, just to show the full Hive OS setup for CPU mining. Uh, that will be probably tomorrow or the day after when I release that video. But this is what I got so far, guys. I uh, appreciate every single one of you guys who have 
subscribed. I think I'm up to 400 subscribers right now, and it's kind of crazy to think that 400 of you guys want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> so uh, I really appreciate uh, every single one of you guys who has joined. Um, so please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and um, reach out anytime you guys want. And uh, I'll see you on see you guys on the next video. Thanks, guys.